So let's take an image and go through the basic workflow in Camera Raw and then focus on fixing uh, details uh, in shadows or blowing out highlights. Uh, here's an image I like. Uh, the sky shape and the ground shape are, are interesting and good, but as you can tell, this is quite underexposed. Let's open it up in Camera Raw and see what we can do with it. Now, I'm going to click on my clipping warnings, and you can see that uh, we've lost just a little bit of detail in this Camera Raw image. And uh, uh, let's, let's massage it a little bit. So you can tell from the histogram that it is underexposed. So I'm going to take this and start dragging it and we'll pull it up into the into the middle and we'll move those highlights up so that we have basically a natural uh, bell curve kind of shape. And then um, let's pull things over a little bit until we start getting our our clipping warning. So if I if I take the whites up too high, you'll see that there's there's where we're losing data and we'll see over here that the uh, there that we're climbing the wall there. So let's let's back that back down. All right, and uh, I might improve the clarity. I might take the vibrance up just a little bit more. Um, contrast, maybe just a touch. Contrast spreads that out just a little bit. And so now let's go into the next panel and we can play around with just the highlights or the lights. Again, watching that I'm not blowing out any so we can play around with that a little bit more the next one the next panel has to do with sharpening and noise reduction on this one I like to go in at a full 100 percent where I can actually look at it and this image doesn't seem to have much noise in it. Uh, uh, luminance noise is the dark and light noise. Uh, we can drop that just a little bit. We can do sharpening here and then on the fourth panel we can increase the luminance or the saturation of certain colors since this is Southern Utah, let's let's crank up those reds and oranges and counteract it with the greens just a little bit. We can make the sky pop just a little bit more. We can come into the luminance and actually uh, add some light into that. And basically there we go. We have a we have a great image. We're just Clipping just a little bit in the in the shadows there, so I can go back to the um, that's not bad, and so I'm going to click done. And we can see what a difference that has made in our in our image. Here's how we began, and whoops, there's how we ended. What a what a difference! 